Welcome to module 7. We'll be talking about WordPress and WooCommerce. So we'll give an overview again for WordPress and WooCommerce for e-commerce. Right? So what is WordPress? It's an open source software that you can use to create a beautiful website, blog, or app. Open source meaning you can view the code and with this license you can um, basically use that software. Right? So it's free to modify and distribute um, with the GNU GPL license. It's um, one of the less restrictive uh, license, open source license. So WordPress is a content management system, right? So it is a software application that provides capabilities for creating, organizing, editing, and publishing in the web, okay? Um, and then um, to to run this, it requires multiple software uh, applications. Only one application is required. So sorry, instead, okay, of multiple. So why WordPress? Very popular. Its uh, user interface is really great. Uh, free to low cost uh, training resources. Cost efficient. Easy to set up and maintain teams and plugins. Right. And again, most hosting providers do provide. Uh, WordPress, uh, sometimes free, sometimes with low cost, and as you can see, um, here are some of the market shares, right? Of you see WordPress as twenty-seven million, and the next one is Wix with three point eight, right? That itself should show you how big of WordPress is. Okay, so how do you get WordPress? You just go to this um, website and you can download, right? And download to a computer, start using WordPress. And if you allow people to access your um, home network, computer network, which it shouldn't be, then you somehow have a website up and running, right? Uh, you can still do that in your local machine, meaning your own computer, just to test things around, right? If using a web hosting provider, such as GoDaddy, Bluehost, uh, HostGator, right? Uh, most of them it's already pre-installed and you need, just need to do a single click to install it. So the difference between org and .com, right, is the .com handles everything for you for a fee, whereas .org does not, okay? Just FYI, it's not true for all websites, it's just that this is how WordPress uh, de uh, designed it, okay, with the uh, top level domain .com and .org. Okay, when you visit, you can have the four types of account, the free, personal, premium, business. Free account, you can start blogging um, before testing out. It's free, right? But it will contain the WordPress.com, right? I mean, it's free. You don't have to pay your domain name. And yes, as I mentioned, will contain WordPress.com. Okay, to run WordPress, these are your dependencies, right? You need to have a PHP... Um, to version 7.4 or Gator, a MySQL database, and HTTPS support, okay? Uh, once you purchase web hosting, the web host will provide login credentials to access the C panel. This is your, uh, like your admin panel in your web hosting provider, right? It allows uh, remote access to install software on the web host web server via a one-click on the script installer, okay? And this is how a dashboard would look like. And we just click this one. And this is an example using the Bluehost um, web hosting provider. Okay. And after you click the uh, installation, uh, you would provide the domain name, right? And additional information for the admin user. So, because you, you do need to log into that WordPress instance or site. The new site there you're creating and then when you log into your website uh, let's say um, this is my new WordPress website.com you add a slash WP dash admin so that you can go to a login page for the admin user and you fill in the username password and you get to see this dash dashboard right so this is the uh, intuitive interface for us to quickly develop our website okay so in the dashboards, uh, to see all the pages that um, is published or uh, is created in draft, you see go click pages, all pages. Settings, you have a general tab, the permalinks tab, and the privacy tab, and these are pretty self-explanatory. Um, so next is WooCommerce for e-commerce, right? So e-commerce, again, is a, uh, you're buying and selling online, right? And 
WooCommerce is an open source e-commerce platform, right? Used with WordPress, it's a self-hosted website to create an online store. It's a comprehensive do-it-yourself e-commerce solution that is installed as a WordPress plugin. Once installed, it is available from the WordPress dashboard. So in the ads, uh, the admin panel of WordPress. Okay. Um, again, it's built on WordPress. It is uh, an extension of WordPress. Okay, so you do need WordPress. Uh, it's open source, though there's uh, no upfront or monthly cost. Um, and there's 30 day money back guarantee for those um, doing more services. Uh, and safe, secure payments for customers. So they provide those integration for um, like Stripe, um, like Square. You can sell physical or digital products in your platform and there's multiple payment gateways, right? You can um, sell internationally if you want, right? Um, and that's with the global support. So you have unlimited inventory, extended WooCommerce with extensions, mobile device store management, and so on and so forth. Right, to install WooCommerce, uh, let's say via uh, the file transfer protocol, right? Uh, you can download into WordPress.org uh, from plugins directory. And it's basically in your dashboard. Go to plugins, search for WooCommerce, and select it, install, and then activate. Okay. So summary, um, WooCommerce offers many features that can help small, medium-sized businesses create a scalable online store for physical or digital products. With its intuitive installation with the one-click BFTP or WordPress da dashboard, WooCommerce can be quickly installed. So this would be a good entry point for those who are looking to buy and sell online because it gives you um, payment integration, shipping integration, tax calculations, uh, global support which is pretty, pretty uh, easy to use. Okay, till then.